My name is Rohit Tawa, I'm the Chief Executive of Fast Future Research. We spend our time looking at the trends, ideas and developments that will shape the next five to 15 years. And we've been working on a project looking at the jobs that will emerge as a result of advances in science and technology. Well, these are the industries of the future, nanotechnology, biotechnology, uh, green technology, new vehicles. These are all industries that are going to be huge job creators. And for the UK, it's very important that we're at the forefront in, of science and technology and that we're creating the leading specialists in these fields, that we're creating a great pool of scientists and engineers and techno technicians. And so these are going to be the future sort of wealth creation, opportunity and ambition for the country. We're already see, beginning to see examples of all of these things emerging. Uh, and so there are great case studies out there of people who are already starting to work, whether it's a, as a virtual lawyer, or as vertical farmers, or as body part makers. All these things are starting to happen, so they're being brought to life. Uh, so the first thing I think is to go and actually have a look at what some of these people are doing in their jobs, look at the case studies. And then that, I think, will encourage people to say, well, how do I get into those careers? And then that leads them to understanding that they need to go into science in order to take those, the career paths. I think one of the reasons it's exciting is it brings science to life. Uh, rather than just talking about physics, chemistry and biology or mathematics, uh, it's really talking about how they can be applied. It's getting people excited about the ways in which you'll be able to use those basic disciplines to solve problems for humanity, to solve issues like climate change. Well, this is a very important time for the country. We're coming out of an economic downturn. One of the things we know is that science and technology is going to drive innovation and drive economic growth and the, the creation of new jobs. And we need to really focus on the industries where we want to create those new jobs that are going to be you know, the wellsprings of, of future growth. And so we're trying to highlight you know, the areas of science and technology that are going to create some of the most interesting jobs, the most valuable jobs for society, and the careers that could be of most interest to children going through school right now.